trust me. I know what I'm doing. What geeks do you have for us today? These are the keys. This is the question for that brand new automobile. Are you ready? I sure am, Bob. Good. Let's hear from him. What city houses the National Football League Hall of Fame? For the keys to that brand new car, what is your answer? Back it up, pal. You don't have a chance. Cairn, Ohio. The home of the National Football League Hall of Fame is located. In Canton, Ohio. Yeah! Well, George, you got yourself a brand new car. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, George, here are the keys, and tomorrow on live TV, you'll be going for the grand prize on the million dollar question. See you then. Have a good day now. Well, the game show on TV I like is the divorce court. Give away the best prize. Lori, did you see the million dollar question this morning? No, I didn't, Greg. I swear I never miss it. Anyhow, some guy is finally going for a million dollars. Oh, yeah? Nobody has ever gotten to that level. What is, is it? Uh, are you two yapping about game shows? Hey, I got a good game show for you. It's called Let's Get Back to Work. This is reality, this is not TV. Boy, the women get together, the mouths go open, and everybody's talking. Comparing your favorite brands of soap and your water weight gain. This is a beauty parlor. It's a precinct. Okay. Get it. Well, I was just trying to be sociable. Hammer, both men and women watch game shows. It's a very popular form of entertainment. Oh, listen. Last week, I made an arson suspect walk across hot coals. Now, that's entertainment. Game shows are for people that are low on brain cells. That's not true. Have you ever played Trivial Pursuit? That takes brains. Thoreau, I am in pursuit of one thing, and that is justice. And that takes bullets. Hammer, this is an automobile accident. I want you and Doro to investigate. An automobile accident? We'll call the auto club. An unlicensed vehicle went off the pier into the West River, Hammer. Well, then call the auto club and flipper. There is a dead body in the vehicle, Hammer. Why do you always save the best for last? Let's go, Duro. No, not until you drop the subject of game shows. <sighs> All right. Let's make a deal. Hey, come on, hoist that car up! <laughs> Oh, Inspector Hammer. Okay, uh, sorry to get you out here. Turned out to be another guy drinking and driving. You sure he was drinking? Well, he was underwater, Duro. Of course he was drinking. Inspector, it took a diver five minutes to pry this out of his hand. Too bad. Had a wife. Ooh. Well, that explains the drinking. Huh? Hey, I've seen that car before. That's that that's the car that that guy won on that game show this morning. Hammer, you're such a hypocrite. Why? You said you hated those game shows. I I I happen to have been preparing for this case, Thoreau. A policeman has got to keep informed. Why weren't you watching? Sledgehammer, come on down. Hey, we just found this guy's identification. That's him, Mel. Mel Jordan was his name, and he was the winner on that game show this morning. You mean he won this beautiful car on a game show? You think that's funny, Mayjoy? A man just lost his life. Worse than that, he lost a chance to win a million dollars. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Jordan was under the influence. Maybe he's celebrating too soon. I don't know. Maybe the pressure got to him. I don't know why it would. I saw him. 
He was as calm as a Perry Como groupie. I think we ought to visit his wife, the widow Jordan, and find out a few things. Put together a few pieces. I'll move in a second, Inspector. Oh, never mind. Wait, no, I'll, I'll go around. part of our job. Telling a person someone they love is gone. I hate doing this. Well, just let me handle it. Hello? May I help you? Yes, I'm Inspector Sledgehammer. This is Detective Dory Duro. We're police officers. Oh, what do you want? Well, ma'am, there was an auto accident and your husband's dead. So go ahead and cry if you want to. Oh, my God! No! We want to offer our deepest condolences, Mrs. Jordan. Jordan? But I'm Mrs. Perlin. The Jordans live next door. So is one house off. That's... Now, you know, this never would have happened if you'd had your address clearly marked on that curb out there. So just consider this a warning. I'm very sorry. Would you like a tissue? No, thank you. Have you used one? Was your husband a heavy drinker? No, absolutely not. He was kind and decent and gentle. Too bad he wasn't waterproof. Game shows and concerts were his life. When's the last time he talked to your husband? Oh, he called right after he won the car. He said he was coming straight home to study. You know, we're going to start a family this year. There's a game where you win a kid? We have to be going now, Mrs. Jordan, but we just want to offer our deepest condolences. Oh, wait, no, tell me. How bad was the accident? Well, if it's any consolation, it is one of the more peaceful ways to die. Locking the car, clawing the doors, your lungs fill up with water. I guess the first couple minutes is pretty scary, but then you die, so you don't know. Amazing. A man obsessed with game shows. Yep, another dope caught up in the materialism promoted by game shows. I hate that. So why did you accept those? Well, what I just I wanted to make her feel better, all right? These are beauties, too. <laughs> you know, I never heard of a drunken driver who drowned in the drink and never drank. Hard to believe. It's also hard to say. I think we should talk to the last people to see Mel Jordan alive. And here's your host for the million dollar question, Bob Kenny. Ladies and gentlemen, our reigning champion, Mr. Mel Jordan, has been involved in a horrible automobile accident and is no longer with us. So please let us all bow our heads and observe a moment of silence for dear Mel. Well, life goes on, so let's meet a brand new contestant, and we'll do that right after this commercial word. So don't go away now. We'll be back. Excuse me. May I help you? Yes, we're here to talk to Bob Kinney. We're police officers. Sorry, we're in the middle of a hit show. Yeah, we're in the middle of an investigation, creep. Oh, Camera. Bro. Relax, Nancy, relax. I always have time to talk to the police. Why don't you put that college degree to work and get me some coffee? Right away, Bob. Oh, David. Please. Call me, sir. We know you're very busy, but we have some questions you'd like to ask. Hey, questions? <laughs> That's my game. Shoot. Just kidding, Inspector. <laughs> the category is dead Mel's. Yes, of course, Mel. You know, Inspector, in this business we call show, contestants come and go, but Mel wasn't just a, a first name on a cheap tag. No. He had a last name, too. What the hell was it? Jordan. That's it. Jordan. Mel Jordan, that's it. Lovely guy. Inga, would you please get lost? Here's your coffee, sir. Thanks. By the way, great show today, sir. Why my watch? Now, where were we? Mel Jordan. Was he acting strange lately? 
I recall he was very, very nervous. As a matter of fact, he, uh, he said he was going to down a few stiff drinks before he took that new car out for a spin. Really? Did he mention anything about driving drunkenly off a pier? No, oh, I, 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 I don't believe so. Look who's here, sir. Ah, it's my boy. Glad I could be of some help. Who's that, his kid? No, president of the station. I don't know, Hammer. I think maybe for the first time, Mel Jordan has been overwhelmed by his good fortune. I don't buy it. There's something about that guy I don't trust. What is that? He's a game show host. Who are you calling? The coroner. I want the final results on Mel Jordan's death. Oh, Hammer, you're so paranoid. Every death isn't a murder. Hey, I'm an optimist. Coroner's office. Norman. Hi, this is Sledgehammer. Oh, hi, Sledgehammer. A bunch of bodies came in, but there's no jackets or shoes your size. No, oh, hey, thanks for thinking of me. No, I want the uh, autopsy results on uh, Mel Jordan. That was uh, intoxication, right? No, there wasn't a single trace of alcohol in this bloodstream. Cause of death was a severe blow to the head. Well, thanks, Norman. Well? Well, according to the autopsy results, Mel Jordan was dead sober. Mm -hmm.